Hello and welcome to my new course on covered calls. So many of you may be stock traders and you might be holding stocks in your portfolio. You may or may not know about covered calls, but if you don't, then this course is going to open a completely different dimension for you. Because when you own stocks, most people think that they cannot make any income with it unless they buy it and sell it and you know keep getting into the trading mode. That's not the case. And covered calls are some of the most powerful strategies for stock owners. If you have stocks in your portfolio, you can generate income from these stocks on a monthly basis. So think about it, especially if you are holding stocks for the long term and if you have a portfolio, you may be surprised to find that covered calls can be some of the most powerful and yet the most simplest strategies. It's also very safe and profitable. So this is a very interesting course for stock traders. Now, if you don't trade stocks, if you only trade options, I'm going to throw in a bonus at the end of the course, which will allow you to trade covered calls like you own stock. So, you know, we'll get into all of that later in the course. But first, I just want to give a quick background on myself. My name is Hari Swaminathan. I run a company called OptionTiger.com. I've been an options trader for about eight to 10 years, but I also have extensive experience with all the other asset classes like stocks, ETFs, bonds, including options and futures. I have a bachelor's degree in engineering from India and an MBA from Columbia Business School in New York City. A little bit about myself. This is my Udemy channel. You can find me under udemy.com slash user slash Hari Swaminathan. Close to about 30,000 students from 168 countries and an average review of uh, 4.47 out of 5. And this is as of May 31st, 2017. Okay, so let's look at covered calls. I want to give a brief overview of what exactly a cover call is. Covered calls are what you would call a classic income strategy if you own stocks. So what exactly do we mean by an income strategy? An income strategy is generally refers to some kind of a mechanism where you get some kind of a return either every two weeks or every month or every 45 days or 60 days. But on a frequent basis, maybe every quarter perhaps you get some income. So think of it like a CD or a certificate of deposit or a bond, one of those kinds of instruments where you want to create income and that comes into your account. Whereas the actual instrument itself that you hold, whether it's a bond or a CD or whatever it is, that is still there. And when the maturity of that particular instrument comes about, then you get that money back. However, what we're talking about is not a fixed income or a bond kind of an instrument. I just want to give you an example of what an income strategy would look like. Now, you can apply covered calls even if you don't know a whole lot about options. I would recommend a little bit because we are going to be using options. So if you're a total stock trader, I would highly recommend that you learn a little bit about options perhaps just at the beginner's level because that's all you need if you're not interested in options but if you want to do covered calls and you'll see how powerful this strategy is so it's in your interest to learn a little bit about options and just a beginner's course would be fine this strategy is ideal for people who want to own stocks for the longer term and there are millions of people that own stocks for the longer term however just by holding it you're not getting any income Yes, if the stock price goes up, then you're going to benefit from it. If it goes down, however, you're going to lose money. But what do you do in the meanwhile? So in the meanwhile, you can use covered calls as a very effective strategy to create income. So whether it's per month, per week, per three months, per quarter, whatever it is, you can create income strategies using covered calls. As the name suggests, we are going to use call options for covered calls. So what we do is we are going to sell a call option that is either in the money, at the money or out of the money. And this choice of expiry series and this choice of the option strike price becomes very important. And that's actually a decision that you would make on your end because it all depends on your return objectives for this particular stock or for your particular situation because how much time you have to dedicate to look at the markets is what will dictate what kind of an option you would sell, what strike price you would sell 
and so on and so forth. Now, if all of this is completely new to you, don't worry because you know these things are going to be explained in the following lectures in complete detail. That's what this course is all about. We're going to go deep into the aspects of covered calls. In this course, we're also going to be doing live trades. So you're going to see three live trades on this uh, inside this course. And we'll talk about that on the next slide when I discuss the agenda for the course. These trades are going to go through adjustments. They're going to go through rolls and even roller coasters. So it's very exciting that these trades were put on at a time when there was quite a bit of volatility coming in. And so there's a lot of excitement and rolling and roller coasters uh, in this course. But I can tell you, this is one of a, the most exciting courses because it's a very safe strategy. It's a very profitable strategy. And especially if you're a stock owner, then covered calls is something that you must learn because you can create income from your stocks that you already own. And this can add a significant performance to your stock returns. Because just think about it, if on a monthly basis or every two months or uh, three months, you're getting some income from your stocks. But even if it's a small amount over the period of 12 months or 24 months, this can add up. And so the, you can do this. It's a repeatable strategy. You can do this every so and so period of time. And that period of time depends upon you. And so we'll be getting into that as to what would be the right kind of a time frame that you should be looking at given your situation. All of that will be covered in this course. Now, let's now look at the course agenda and what we are going to cover here. First, we'll be looking at the covered call strategy itself. In the next video, you're going to see a complete detail on what a covered call is. And we'll also be discussing the options component in that because especially if you may just be a stock trader and you don't know anything about options, you would want to know a little bit and what that little bit is will be covered there. Basically, I can tell you what you need to know is something about call options because that's what we're going to use in covered calls. There is something called put options, but we don't use that in covered calls. So all you need to know is a little bit about call options and, and that you can learn from any of the a starter beginner kind of a course. I myself have one on Udemy itself. So then we'll st try to look at how income and growth go together because see, if you have a stock, then you, you might have growth because the stock will be doing well, the price will be going up, the company is doing well, and you'll get growth from there. However, while you're sitting on the stock, there's no real income unless you get, you may be getting a dividend, which is great. But a covered call can add to the dividend as well. So even if you're getting dividend as an income, the covered call actually improves upon that and significantly adds to that performance. Also, you're going to see three live trades on uh, in this course. Like I said, Apple will be an at the money covered call and Netflix will be an in the money covered call and Tesla will be an out of the money covered call. So basically what we are doing with a covered call is we are going to be selling a call option. So the question is, what strike price would we sell? Let's say Apple is trading at $150. Then do you want to sell an at the money option? Do you want to sell an out of the money? Do you want to sell an in the money? Because you have to remember one thing about covered calls is that if the stock price hits your the strike price of your call option that you sold, you might be assigned for that. So which means you have to be able to give up your shares. Now, it's not a big deal for many people. If you if you want to be very careful and you do not want to give up your shares, then there is a way to do that. And you'll see that in the Tesla trade. However, even if you have to give up the shares, you're going to be giving it up at a very favorable condition. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for some good profits. You're looking for a nice move. And based upon where you took the covered call, even if you have to give up the, uh, the shares, you're going to be incredibly profitable when you give up those shares. Finally, because you're selling a call option and perhaps you may be selling an in the money call option itself. So you, you do want to be aware of the kind of volatility situations that might come up. And in fact, in this particular case, you'll see that we've exited at the appropriate time on these trades because of a certain global news event, you know, that was due to come out anyway. And so because of this, you want to be aware of what's going on. And so there's a very key lesson that's learned in these trades in all of these trades in this course. So welcome to the course again. In the next video, we're going to cover the basics of the cover call. And then we're going to jump into the live trades 
that are part of this course. So all three of all three of the trades last about a couple of weeks or so, and all of them needed some kind of adjustments, and all of that is included, including some roller coaster events that I'm talking about. So welcome to the course again. I look forward to seeing you inside. Thank you.